the squad members hit their backs to take cover behind a short wall bordering the roof. There was a serious sniper fire. They were shooting at us, they were shooting at us, and uh, finally we decided this isn't, this isn't the best place to be because we're very exposed. The squad is about to make a break for it when a sniper zeroes in on them. Round hit right next to us, right in between us, and one of the guys on the roof with us said, I saw where it came from, and all of us laying on our backs, and as we're on our backs, this guy goes, where'd it come from? He goes, oh, we all pointed, like, right over there, right over there, about 300 meters. The Marine who asked about the sniper's location readies his M203 grenade launcher. At just over 300 yards, it won't be an easy shot, but the lives of his fellow Marines depend on it. So this guy from his back didn't even look at the building, shot it. And I sat up and watched it, and that thing went right in the window. This is the most amazing thing I've seen. But even after this incredible 300-yard shot, the coast still isn't clear. A second sniper is landing rounds dangerously close to the squad. And to further complicate matters, Corporal Connors is holding an AT-4 shoulder-fired rocket he's already armed and made ready to fire. It's like holding a grenade with the pin already pulled. He can't run with it, but if the squad stays put, it's just a matter of time before a well-aimed sniper round finds soft flesh. November 10, 2004, 3 p.m. Battle of Fallujah, Day 3. In the mayor's complex at the center of town, a sniper has Marines pinned down on a low rooftop. The squad needs to make a run for it, but Corporal Timothy Connors has already armed an AT-4 shoulder-fired rocket. It's like holding a grenade with a pin pulled. It's just too hazardous to run with. An AT-4 isn't the most accurate weapon at long distances, but Connors finally tries to hit the sniper's window. So we're all laying down, and we started discussing how we're going to do this. So I told him they're going to give me cover fire. I'm going to pop up. I'm going to shoot it. Then after, as soon as we shoot it, we're all going to. Uh, we have three smoke grenades. We're going to throw the smoke grenades. Then we're all going to get off the building. So it was kind of like a movie scene, kind of, you all sitting down, we, we talked, we go one, two, and everyone sat up and just started firing. I shot the AT-4 and went right in the window. We all popped smoke through, through the smoke at the same time, let it billow up a little, and then we all took off off the roof. By the afternoon of the 11th, the Marines have secured the mayor's complex and are prepared to cross Highway 10 the main east-west route that bisects Fallujah. Alpha Company's 1st Platoon, commanded by 2nd Lieutenant Elliot Ackerman, is closest to the highway. So Ackerman gets the order to make the crossing first. The lieutenant picks out a building 300 yards south of...